12 years ago, the cover says Africa rising. Six out of 10 countries, most fastest growing economies in the world. Africa is going to have a major global role over the coming decades. And its middle class or consumer class is the fastest growing in the world. The fact is, Africa is no longer emerging. It is here now. More than half the population of Africa are under the age of 30. But as the world economy gravitates towards the fourth industrial revolution, there's the need to prepare African youths for jobs of the future. Africa is the future of the world. I've never been proud to, to have a black skin or to be African. Um, Africa is going to be feeding the world in the next couple of years because of our amazing environment. And then also, we're going to be providing the future workforce because, I mean, we have the youngest population in the world, especially in Nigeria. Um, so I think it's, it's important that we um, deliberately um, work together to equip our young people with the skills that are required to um, lead global economy. I Create Africa is a hub for skills, excellence and development. A 21st century organization building a skilled ecosystem to upskill Africa for the future. Nigeria has a huge skill gap and this is affecting also the unemployment rate. And I believe that one of the ways to curb youth unemployment is not by the public sector. The public sector cannot employ 30 million people, but the private sector and SMEs have the ability and the capacity to employ a lot of people. So what we're doing is we discover that the reason why the SMEs might not be able to succeed is because the skill level is low and that's where I Create Africa comes in. I Create Africa is here to empower young people with the skills that is required and that, that is that's in demand in the labor market. And how do we do this? We do this through different means, but one of the most important means that we do this through that is, that's been very impactful is through the skills competition. The I Create Skill Fest is an important platform that we use to change the narrative and to project all skilled artisans across various industries in a complete different new light. It's absolutely important for us to rebrand the skills and have a happening event that is exciting for everyone to watch. When you come into the set, everything is, you know, light, cameras, media and all that, just to give young people a feel of how much investment and how important skill is. We started the competition um, in Abuja October last year and after that we did a regional competition in, in, in Kaduna um, and then after that we did another one in Enugu which is the South East regional competition and now we've gotten to a point where we're now doing a national competition where the people from the from the North and the people from the South East will now compete with the people from the South West um, and this competition is scheduled to hold in Lagos sometime in December but apart from that every single competition that we've held across the country has been very impactful we don't just stop at the competition. The winners get cash prizes, they also get tools and equipment, and then they also get training. Because like, like I said earlier, the goal is to empower them to a point where they become entrepreneurs and employ at least five people. So our goal is to create five million jobs in five years. Because we're not all about the skill competitions. We have different other products and services that we use as a tool to promote technical skills in Nigeria. And one of them is the I Create Skills magazine, which actually features all the winners of the competitions, talks about their journeys, um, shows nice pictures from the competition, and also gives an opportunity for all our partners to speak to a wide audience and make them understand what they do in the area of skills development investment. Should I flip through it? Beyond giving the skill artisans a platform and to project them in the mainstream and thus rebranding the image of technical skills, it is important for us to invest into training and make sure that they upskill and um, enhance their knowledge, not only in the technical field, but as well as regards entrepreneurship skills and business acumen. And some of those trainings also happen in the iCreate Skill Hub, and this is where we find ourselves. This is another product that we've just launched, um, and it should be a hub for the entire skill community, from tech to construction 
to beauty, creative arts and fashion um, for all skilled artisans to find a home uh, where, can, where they can collaborate, where they can display um, their works and uh, jointly create things together. It will incorporate a training room, it will incorporate a conference room, uh, different co-working spaces as well as the Ad Create office and just um, yeah, create that space for all skilled artisans, for solopreneurs, for freelancers who don't have the means to rent their own offices and just starting the entrepreneurial journeys um, as a skilled artisans and just help them to um, yeah, find their way out there and uh, connect to customers and to our partners. On the larger scale, we're looking at setting up skill parks across the country, which are um, the skill hubs, but just in a way bigger space where also mini markets are included, real workshops where our partners Bosch, for example, will invest into tools that will be provided there for all the um, artisans that they can use to eventually construct and fabricate furniture um, or any other products and then sell it through the platform that is given to them. It's literally a one-stop shop for skills for the entire community in Abuja and also beyond. Amongst the beneficiaries of I Create Africa is Melissa Onojo, known by her fashion brand Old Taylor. Melissa is the winner of the first I Create Skill Fest 2018 in the category of garment making. While I was shortlisted, I was very excited. I can remember showing my dad the email, my siblings, everybody. I was very happy. I called my friends. I was invited for profiling. Everything was interesting, but I wasn't sure what I was getting into. I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't even sure if they were legit, but I came. I did my profiling and prepared for the actual competition. As a skilled champion of I Create Africa, Melissa was empowered with startup capital, free professional training at the Fashion Academy Abuja, and she and her fellow skilled champions were taken on a media tour around Nigeria. The publicity created a huge boost to her business and later that year she opened her first store. Melissa was selected amongst the skilled champions to attend the World Skills Competition in Kazan, Russia with other I Create Africa executives. Going to Kazan for World Skills was really a mind-blowing experience. It completely changed my perspective about a lot of things. World Skills has an age limit of 22 and 25 for some categories. It was beautiful to see that young people had found themselves early enough and were even competing in world skills representing their country. So world skills generally was a beautiful experience. Winning Accra Africa has really changed a lot about me and for me. It has changed the way I see my skill and the way I think about myself and my skill. It has made a lot of people to respect me more. It has made me to feel like, oh, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can take on in this world. There's nowhere I can go. There's no level I can't compete globally, locally, and come out favorable. One of the reasons why we are here is because we believe in the vision of the iCreate organizers. So we want to see that we support the participants and we don't just leave them at the end of this program. We're going to be mentoring a lot of them. We're going to ensure that they realize their aspirations, which is to become eventually employers of labor. Our cooperation uh, with I Create, I Create Africa started in November of 2018 uh, as we supported um, Job Creation Fair in Abuja. Um, our cooperation is hopefully going to continue as we consider I create as very professional in terms of supporting our indicators and results. In 35 years, there will be more Africans than the entire Europe and America combined. For so many here, there is so much promise. Bridging the skills gap and building the economy could change the people, the country and the continent. If we are able to achieve so much with so little, Imagine if every organization, every country, every government, every private sector, every individual decide 
to work together to add value to the lives of the young people in Africa. Africa is the future of the world and it's on us to empower ourselves to take advantage of this future. Let's create.